Hey good people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I woke up a while ago as you can see. As you can tell, I am kind of fresh and happy. Um, I have like a different lifestyle that's ha happening right now due to the sickness. My timetable got totally messed up. I sleep during the daytime. I wake up in the middle of the night. Then I wake, you know, stay awake all night looking at fragrances. So anyway, uh, this is not like a new thing. But today I decided to do two episodes for you. One is going to be niche house, uh, I think Frederick Mall. And I have a beautiful sample set here, which I am going to review uh, two by two. I'm going to review two today. Uh, actually, this was a loan from Perfume Bangladesh. I purchased a few fragrances, so the owner, he was kind enough to offer me, actually kind of like requested as well, uh, that I want to try these fragrances out because I reviewed so far three uh, Frederick Mall. I think Iris Poudre. Uh, Pudra, Pudre, and then uh, Portrait of a Lady and Carnal Flowers, right? So they are also here, but there are, apart from these, there are six in total that I am supposed to look at. So today I'm going to look at uh, two fragrances. These are like two ML official samples, I believe, uh, or 3.5 mil rather, sorry. Uh, two rose-based fragrances. One is uh, Lipstick Rose, and other one is Un Rose or Une Rose. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but both are rose based so i picked them up together and second episode i'm gonna do another fragrance review which is designer sort of like a re review uh so uh they this sample is really really good they have this kind of uh <coughs> informative card in there and then they put the names at the back and the ingredients they put so really nice presentation i really like them this prayer is very very nice and these fragrances are kind of very popular niche fragrance house very, some of them are very popular fragrances in the community. They have been reviewed to death. So I did not want to rush and go with the flow that, okay, everybody's doing, so I have to do. I just wanted to take my time. Whenever in the journey something comes up to me, I want to, like, experience them, you know, because I want them, you know, not because I want everybody's doing, so I'm doing. Uh, so in that way, for me, you know, like, journey is more enjoyable. So... Yeah, this fragrance house is really hyped. <clears throat> but look at every single house, designer or niche. Always look at the fragrance quality, not just the name or the price tag or uh, just in general the brand name. You know, sometimes brand names are not what you wear. You wear the fragrance, right? So I'm here to tell you how I feel about this too. So the first one is going to be, um, I think, Lipstick Rose. Let's start with that. And uh, I didn't want to do like uh, all of them in one episode because I want to take my time. So I think two in each episode is gonna be better so the lipstick rose uh, i think that they put the perfumer's name but i cannot say his name properly ralph shrieker i'm not sure i'm not sure i'm really sorry uh, the perfumer name and then the juice color is gonna be like this they come with really nice bottle price is gonna be i think around under 300 dollars or so so not cheap so definitely get a sample set like this so you'll understand so i have it on my skin so here, the lipstick, first thing when you hear with the word lipstick, uh, first thing that comes to your mind is cosmetics, iris, right? And you guys know like I love lipstick on, the name of it, uh, the fragrance is for me, Fave Delicious meets, meets uh, all the Diorom, you know, Valentino Bumo, all the iris. So this is my love of my life right now. Also, uh, Givenchy's Lounge Noir. Uh, that one I think is sexier version of Diorum Intense darker for women, but I think men can use it So where this one stands because this one is not a brand new release I think I did not look at any other reviews because I want to be unbiased So this perfume I think lipstick rose it's gonna be uh, a tad bit feminine and uh, There are some good things. There are some things that I think uh, I could have appreciated more if they had uh, some more uh, punch of the iris so first thing is that iris is not the prominent or dominant note here that makes me a little bit sad i do not get that waxy lipsticky vibe so basically it's focused more on the rose okay a little bit of rose and i think they have a uh, few other notes i'm not quite sure i think it's a bit something fruity when i smell it it's it's beautiful rose and it's not very overbearing so it's a wearable kind of like a fruity to my nose it's simply amber perhaps mask a simple uh like a formula in this okay so it's not like wow for me like when i sprayed it's not uh like how lipstick on or dear intense first impression was like wow i was blown away this one is a beautiful fragrance okay so even when i say it's not blowing me away it does not mean it's a bad fragrance this is a very nice composition but the fragrance 
it's it's kind of like a it's I'll put the nose break down. It's something feels like that the fruits are kind of like making it very uh, safe. Whatever the fruit or the rose. So the rose, it's like even if you're not a rose lover, let's say you do not like Cartier Declaration Don Soir. If you do not like Amoise Lyric Man, okay? If you do not like those, you can still try it. It's a safe rose for me, you know? So it's a good, be a good starting rose fragrance for you, perhaps. Women would love this. Men, uh, if you're looking to try a rose fragrance, I think it will go nicely with a suit and a red rose or a tuxedo you know nice composition so this will be a good fragrance longevity and projection push from this longevity was good on me when i tested this it was like seven hours but push was not like projecting a lot this stays like nice scent bubble around you when you give someone a hug or shake someone's hand nice ballroom air conditioning going on this would be perfect this would be good for fall and perhaps uh, springtime okay so lipstick rose it's okay i'm not i'm on the fence with this not uh, to say I'm gonna call it a pass or it's a masterpiece. I would give it like a solid 7.5 out of 10 Okay, so lipstick rose based on where my journey is. Okay, that's the first one second one I want to look at another rose, but this is a lot more bold and potent This is un rose or une rose because it's une so I don't know how you say it, but I guess unrose not unrose unrose Okay, so they say the perfumer here is Edouard Fleshier, I cannot pronounce French name. I'm really sorry, uh, and it's really ignorant of me. I should have learned. Okay, so here is the sample. By the way, they all sprayable samples. Okay, so uh, let's spray this. I haven't sprayed it. This is very strong, by the way. I didn't want to do it, but for the review, I will. Okay, let's just a little bit. This perfume is a different story from lipstick rose. This is a fragrance. It's very daring. Uh, it's not daring it's a very loud fragrance you put a dash tiny bit let's say from this you just took tiny little drop and you sprayed it or you put it on your skin it will start opening up like nuclear nuclear this has performance guys this is beast mode 10 out of 10 for projection and longevity so on rose uh, some uh, might find it be too much okay i'll warn you if you do not like rose if you do not like uh, it's like kind of like those rose petals you put it in a diary and you cover it okay do not open it for one month after one month or three weeks you open it you get this nice sort of a very rich uh, dry not really dry this is not dry but you get that smell of rose from the paper and the rose petals that's dried up kind of like a potpourri but uh, you get start getting that beautiful rose smell that is very mature and the paper also caught some so that rose it's a very i would say uh um, I'm not gonna say I smell a lot of rose like this. It's kind of like a Thai rose leaning towards there. I don't know what rose they used it, but uh, the two major notes to my nose is one thing is fruitiness. There's like a fruity notes and uh, like a lot of fruits. I can just, when I smell it, it's very much like uh, together, you know, they're like side by side. R fruits and roses are like neck to neck, okay? Neck on neck. But I cannot say that you cannot smell either the rose or fruit separately, you can so basic dominant notes are those two okay so maybe there are side players like maybe there is a mask sandalwood this kind of notes at the back i do not know but this is one beautiful fragrance okay so this one might come off as kind of basic to people who are into rose wood middle eastern fragrances this one might come off like a very simple and safe fragrance for them but if you just study your game and you do not have any clue on rose use with caution do not go like five six sprays because it's a big sample okay you will regret it this is a beautiful fragrance to wear uh, i think for both genders once again unisex you can dress it up i think that would be perfect for parties after uh, evening time you know like bit dark sun goes down and there's no heat available this is going to develop so nicely especially the earlier winter months this is going to be a beautiful fragrance okay i pick up if you ask me what uh, there is this particular fruit it's kind of like uh, what i get from ck reveal i'm not going to compare it with ck reveal but there's this uh, uh what i forgot agave something like sweetness of agave or something like this popping up in this or something that you also smell in lanuit de uh perfume you know the black bottle also jean paul gauthier ultra male that sort of fruity uh syrupy almost syrupy uh, kind of like sweetness that pops up with the rose i really enjoy wearing it 
but you do not spray this casually once you wear it you know your committed is gonna last you well over eight to ten hours okay so overall this perfume i love it a lot more it's a lot more bold at this point of my journey if you ask me where i would rate it i would rate it very much highly like nine out of ten uh, because i am looking for something different a little bit daring a little bit creative not same all same all with other fragrances okay but again that is my part of my journey where i am so always try a fragrance on your own i'm here to tell you my thoughts only my thoughts and you can have a totally different experience it can get a one or zero in your book too so remember that these are expensive so i think this perfume is actually worth the price tag is very smooth very well blended and smells nice so you can wait for dating valentine's day you know like if you have especially a date you are trying to be romantic i would prefer this over lyric man any day right so on rose it's a beautiful fragrance i think this is a more modern formulation but no issue with the performance right so nine out of ten thanks for watching guys time to move on to the second video take care guys bye bye